Wally. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky. All of the Bobbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Bobbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Hey, honeys. Hey, hey, hey. Merry Christmas. I thought I had my good start yet to y'all's Christmas. I'm just now getting out. I'm about to go to the friend. This is the fit right now. You can't really see too good, but got the cute little shoes, stockings, you know, leather down. Hair's black now. I'm not gonna lie, I saw a picture of me with my black hair and I fell in love all over again. So I'm gonna stick with the black and just buy blonde wigs. Oh. My homeboy is here to pick me up. I don't know where he is. Let me call him. Hey, which car are you in? Uh, blue. Oh, okay, I'm walking up. Yay, but Trill is my homeboy since I first moved to Dallas. I used to live in a trap with him, so that's my baby. He's picking me up. We're gonna go to the hood for a little bit. And there he goes. You can touch him too, man. You can touch him. Don't, don't touch, touch him. him. Hi, double. Like I feel. Hey, he needs some vitamin E. Hi, I just told you to put it in your hand. I am not gonna pick the snake up though. Let's that is see. so cool though. Yeah, hey, I just told her to put it in her hand. And she don't wanna put it in her hand. Oh, look, he's... To massage the guy. Oh, so put him in the He just really not even like doing nothing. So they just be chilling? Yeah, because he trying okay. to warm up. And he trying to warm yeah. up, so. Hey man, OG Trillo. We in a. Vulture Island. Date number, I don't know what. That's cool. I said, hey. Hey, what are your times? So you can really just like go around places with a snake on your neck. Yeah. As long as you're not scared to touch him, shit, he ain't gonna fuck with you. He don't bite. Mm. Huh. Oh, yeah, get your shit. Documentation. He's so silly with the documentation. Look, go get the uh, vitamin E shit. Oh, I thought I gave it to you. Where'd you put it at? Oh, it's right here. Why am I so you, clumsy? Yeah, just do uh, oh, Google it, do the research and see what the fuck that shit really mean. Because you've been fumbling like a motherfucker. Ooh, I don't like that term. Just yeah, you've been fumbling. Come on. Man, you got to relax. You want to football term, Yeah, she been fumbling. I've been all day that I've been clumsy. Like, she I've been, been dropping like I'm talking about she just everything to the other. Okay. And then touch now, it with it? Don't touch him with it. Hold it. What am I just doing? Hold you yeah, just hold you in. Are you going to give him to me? You ain't yeah. going to give me him? Okay, Girl, I, okay, give him to stop. me. Stop. Stop that scary shit. Okay. I mean, I do it with dogs and, like, mammals and stuff. He's a, he's a oh. reptile. He's a, I know he's a reptile. Like so he, look, it. what do y'all already do, man? Yeah, let's so what do I do? Just untangle his tail? He's mm -hmm. not letting me. I know. What's up, man? Oh. <laughs> Why do you put vitamin E oil in your hands? Because you gotta soak them down. You gotta. Here. There you go. Jeez. Hi. Stay there you go. You look at the seat. Yeah, I'm saying. Y'all getting this? Y'all getting this? Yeah, y'all get this. Maybe he want to go back to you. So he want to no, go back. No, he just smelling. Stop. Cool. And then let him slip in your hand. Like you playing with that thing, just let it slip through the thing. <laughs> He's so silly. I swear he get on my nerves. He trying to wrap his body around himself. Nah, he feeling your heat. Yeah, he be needing something to support yeah, him. So he, need, he always yeah, wrap his so just, tail around something. Yeah, he just oh. support. Stay calm. Mm -hmm. And he Stay like there. your heat. So all you do is just relax. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now make sure you massage that thing though. Hi. That's how you gotta do. Nice to meet you. You still over a wall of pies. 
No, the pies are already ready. What you doing the, over here? The, 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 the wing? Yeah, you ain't supposed but to tell her to come watch it. So he no. can feel me touching and him? Just cook yourself. I know that, but it's already. I just. But it cook itself though. You ain't gonna sit here and watch so it. I, already know, I know it's already gonna be ready. So what does it feel like to him when I'm touching him? Uh, like, does it feel like? How I feel when he somebody feel like touch he's you? Strong, like. Yeah, like uh. Huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How I feel. Eesh. Yeah, I that's do. how I feel. So I just they like just going. keep massaging. What shape. kind of snake is this? A ball python. A ball python? Is he poisonous? He's obviously not poisonous. Nah, he's just so cool, calm, and collected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you had him? Mm, it's been a few years. I ain't got him up in uh, November. Mm. Like around Thanksgiving time. Right. Well, I never met a cool snake before. I guess I never really just met a snake before. Honestly, why you got the camera like that? Cause it's like different angles. It's supposed to be shit. like no, you don't do it that way. Hey man, you right, don't feel like that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a fucked up cameraman. No, I don't know. Uh, cute. He's not. He is chill. I mean, cause you know snakes can like wrap around do some crazy shit. Huh? So bad, so that's that's different, um, All right, so so look. Yeah, he's this is what you're doing now. Here. Here. I'm pretty sure what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little situation right there. Here we go. Yeah, yeah it's um, GoPro. It's I'm waterproof. Back. Hey, man. Hey, man. We're going to root that shit. Oh, oh. <clears throat> keep dropping stuff. What's wrong with it, man? What's going on with me? Let me wash my hands. Yeah. yeah. You said the meat, right? Really? Honestly, I think it's because I just got my nails done. And I've been having short nails and I got long nails now. So I think when I reach for stuff, I'm reaching for it with my nails instead of my So what is it doing now? Hey, 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 hey. It's your girl, Malaysia, checking in with you. So we are in the middle of moving to our first house. I'm so excited. It's a big girl move for me because, you know, I'm a bachelorette. So I usually stay in the apartments or condos or, you know, high rise or your daddy house. But, you know, I got my dogs and this, you know, this year I just need space. I love my babies. This place was so cute, so big, so spacious. But I need my own space. I need my own art space. I need my own business, my office. I need my own space. So yeah, we're in the middle of moving. Everything is kind of packed up. I'm super behind. The moving people are on the way now. So I gotta get some shit done. And I'm gonna check in with y'all when I'm done, okay? So, child, I'm moving right now to my first house. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so excited about that. Starting out the new year right. So honestly, it's gonna be spending New Year's Eve with me. I decided I'm not gonna go out. Um, I honestly wanna start off my New Year's fresh and on a good foot. I don't wanna go into the New Year's drunk or hungover or discombobulated or sluggish because I went out and had too much fun. So I'm actually going to stay in tonight and well, just get stuff together. If I get everything together the way I want to and I feel like, okay, I can step out and I'll have a drink, then I probably will um, or I'll probably just go get a bottle of wine and celebrate here with my dogs. Um, so I personally feel like it's not new year, new me. But don't be a Debbie Downer and don't let the Debbie Downers make you feel like you don't you don't need to improve on anything. I personally feel like New Year's Eve and New Year's is definitely the starting point for you to start making improvements on your life. And me, I want to do that for myself. I'm in my late 20s now and we don't have time for mistakes. And I'm also moving into my first house and I'm really excited about that because I feel like that's what we need. Um, you know, me and my little bam bam here, my fur babies, because the apartment I'm in is really big, but it's just been really small as of lately it's getting really cluttered i'm a grown-ass woman and i'm creative i have a lot of equipment and we just need more room the christmas tree being up made me realize we need more room because we're over here scooching around the christmas tree to get by and it's just like no so i was blessed enough to get me a three bed two and a half bath upstairs downstairs 2,000 square feet 2,051 square feet um two car garage 
backyard, you know, cute first little home for me and my babies. So I'm really honestly very excited about that. And I just got everything moved out yesterday, all of my big furniture. Uh, I kind of was last minute with it. It was it was horrible. It was a mess, girl. It was a hot mess. And the reasoning is because I procrastinated. I didn't know if I wanted to stay. I didn't know if I wanted to go. I couldn't make my mind up. And so also this year I realized I'm going with my I'm going with my heart. <laughs> like I'm I gotta quit battling myself so much. So with this new you know, new year we starting off fresh, new crib, gonna get a new car, got my new business venture you know my new business plan of course i'm keeping my old businesses um la, la, la. we're not gonna get too much into that because i don't want to wear y'all out but basically i feel like this is the start of you know a fresh start in a way you know know your wholeness has not been deleted girl but you can still start fresh so as you see your girl's black now i went to the black hair um, blonde compliments me good, black compliments me good, but I feel like black is just more sophisticated and I don't know, it does look better on me though, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah. And don't forget, when you wake up, brush your teeth, put on some lip gloss, and then drink your water. Those are your essentials for this year. Water, gloss, and brushing your teeth. Okay? So, I'm about to get this place cleaned up. Um, we got pretty much everything out of here. Hold on, let me open my water. Ooh, excuse this. I know y'all see that. <laughs> Herb and ammunition. But <laughs> I didn't realize how thirsty I was just now. Um but yeah, so it's a mess. I had the moving company. Well, I had a friend find some guys for me. I paid them like 350 bucks because girl, they came and moved everything. Stuff was packed up, but then I met them in Plano. I had to whip the U-Haul, mind you, 20 foot U-Haul. I whipped it. <laughs> Get out there and realize I don't have the remote to the garage to put my stuff in the storage. I left it here in my car. Mind you, where I'm moving is an hour away. I had to drive back, drive back, drive back. I was so pissed off. You like, I know they were mad at me. So they're like, girl, are you serious? And I didn't even get to pay them. I didn't even pay them yet. So you know they were waiting for me because they're like, they gotta make sure that this girl gonna give us our money. But um, yeah, they got my sauna stolen, was really kind of upset about that. They left it outside. So we threw it over the balcony because the balcony was like not that high. For somebody to come get, um, we were gonna put it on the U-Haul and as I'm leaving to put the TVs on the thing, you know, we get there. I'm like, where's my sauna? They were like, we left it up there. Why would you leave it in the parking lot? I'm hoping a homeless person got a hold of it and is sleeping in it for the winter. But, because I mean, I have the water tank. But seriously, I mean, it's only like $200 on Amazon now. The price has gone way down. So I guess I'll buy a new one. But still, it's like I wouldn't have to buy a new one if y'all would have just, you know, not put it down or left it there. But girl, this is the place right now. It's a hot mess. A hot mess. I took out most of the trash. It's a mess. Like, it is a fucking mess. This is all going to the homeless. That's trash. So yeah. Hmm. I'm spending my time getting this stuff together. So first what I'm gonna do is get all of the trash in the trash can. One thing I've learned is patience is key. And do one thing at a time. Of course you're gonna have a lot of things you need to get done, but don't focus too much on everything that you have to get done. Focus on the task at hand. So right now, we gotta get this trash in a trash, and then we'll start organizing, moving stuff to where it needs to go, and then we'll sweep, mop, well no, we'll take stuff to the trash, sweep, mop, organize, move this stuff, you know, cause I don't have any furniture in here. I have my air mattress, let me show you girl. I kept my air mattress so I would have something to sleep on, obviously. But bam, chicka, wham, wham. This is the room now, the TV's down. 
you know, the carpet is horrible. And that is my air mattress, my little silk. It's a mess in here. Unpacking my shoes. It is a hot damn mess. <laughs> so I gotta get all this stuff together. I gotta figure out what I want, what I don't want, because I cannot live like this for the next couple of days. My home was supposed to be ready on the 29th due to the holidays. It is not gonna be ready to the fit. So I have some time to get my shit together and whatever, so. Lego. Hey honeys, what's poppin'? It's your girl checking in with you. So I just got done cleaning up, getting dressed, taking a shower. I'm gonna show y'all my apartment while it's empty and clean here in a little bit. But right now I am actually about to drop off all of this stuff in the back. It's full, girl, it's full. I have way more clothes in here than what I've kept, literally. Um, I'm not even gonna wait on this light. It honestly, can kiss my ass. But I am about to drop off these clothes because I kind of want to just go ahead and get this over with. I don't really want to be hanging on to this till tomorrow. I was gonna wait because it's kind of dark out. It's like seven right now, um, seven thirty. But I'm actually gonna just go ahead and unload. Like I want to get this over with, indulge, y'all. Have fun. I think this is the spot to pull up to, too. Like, right here. Let's see. We finna do this. We finna give this shit away. Okay. Oh. I think this where I can put it out. Child, I don't even know. Let me back the fuck up. Okay, well, they just pulled right behind me, so... Y'all can see. All right, girl, I'm gonna upload all this stuff. I do not know if that was the right place to take this to, but I'm gonna go ahead and find another location. Uh, go ahead and go this way and bust you. I'm just gonna go around the block and just hand stuff out. I'm actually gonna go over here too and give him these pots and pans. Um, this is one guy I see over here. He has like a whole operation going on. Let's see if we see any girls over here or anywhere. We got guys. Let's see if we can find any women. Because I only have women stuff. I don't have anything for men. Can't really tell. 
These are women. Oh, wait, this is a woman right here. Great, cool, we're gonna give her some stuff. over here and drop her two bags of clothes to go through or I'm gonna give her a bag of clothes actually every single light turning red. You gotta wait at every single light. It's annoying. I'll put this on real quick. We don't gotta hear that. But I did stop at the store. I got me some beers. So I got these kind of beers. I like beer. I really actually do like beer. I like beer a lot for some reason. Girl, not for some reason. I grew up in a Hispanic household. 
So, see? Light just turned red at the next one. This light turned green, that light turned red. Um, yeah, I got me some beer. Cause you know, I grew up in a Hispanic household, last name Escobedo. And I got me some pink rose Moscato because I'm trying to keep it cute. Um, I'm gonna moderate my drinking this year, like no tequila, no hard liquor, wines and champagnes only. I've realized I'm better. Um, I'm not hung over. Um, my sex game be on point when I drink wine <laughs> and champagne. If I'm on that tequila, the liquor, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes this poom poom be hitting it, be wet. Sometimes I can't function. I, I can't function. Like what? What do you mean? Have sex? What? What? I can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. Can't even suck the thing. I'm gonna choke on it. I'm gonna swallow the motherfucking like. But then sometimes my demon time comes out too nasty, and then I gotta pop a Plan B. Ooh, or stuff goes wrong, and I end up trying to fight the guy. So, or cuss him out. I'm not doing that this year. I'm better than that. I'm too pretty for that. And I'm actually a really cool person to be around. But, like, my homegirl put it into perspective for me. I don't know why I never, like, said it like that to myself. But I would be such, like she said, my homegirl Destiny, you would be such a better person if you didn't react to everything. And I'm so glad that she said that because she's right. If I didn't react to everything, I would be a better person. And so that's what's been in my head um for like since she said it and so now i like it's easy for me to tell myself don't react don't react don't react now that i'm conscious of it because before i um i wasn't really too conscious of um the way i the way i react to things I just got to the crib. I'm gonna go up here. The puppies are fed. My dogs just got fed. Um, I haven't really been taking them out out here like that because I don't really just want people seeing me outside of these apartments. I'm too recognizable. And my little stalker is back. Literally, Roderick Taylor will not leave me alone. Roderick T. Taylor, I think he's like 23 now, 22, 23, uh, 24, of Arkansas. He graduated like a couple years ago, a year ago, whatever. He's still stalking me, y'all. He will not leave me the fuck alone. And it's really strange, it's weird. It's like how three years later you're still stalking me and the only person that gives a fuck is you. Y'all still stalking me. It's kind of flattering though. Like, ooh, you're taking all this time out of your day to pay attention to what I'm doing. And everything that you're doing, all the effort that you're putting forth to try to bash my name isn't even working. It's getting you literally nowhere. Must suck. But hey, let's go inside. And I'm gonna smoke, chill with the babies, and we're gonna hit this countdown. Hey, honey bunnies. So I lied. <laughs> Your girl said she was gonna stay in, and I was, but then I decided like, yo, I was home for Christmas, I was home for Thanksgiving. I'm going out tonight, you know what I mean? I've been moving and I haven't had time to do any fun. I wanna go into the new year, I lied. I said I was gonna go to the club. Probably not gonna be the club, but I'm not gonna drink like that. Wine only, wine only, for real, I promise. And I'm gonna take y'all with, move, what the fuck wrong with you? <sighs> Stupid. But I'm gonna take y'all with me and I hope y'all like the makeup. Well, I didn't really do no makeup, I just did lashes. That's a lip. But I don't have my big mirror, so I can't really show y'all the deets like in the mirror, but this is how we looking. Come through BBL. Babies. So, 
It is 40 minutes to the countdown. We in the band BMW. I like this BMW. It's really nice. I want to get one like this. But so I don't really know what we're doing. But we're doing something and your girl just threw up. So I probably have throw up breath. Hmm. Probably. I was trying to get oh, hold on y'all. Yeah, yeah but they here, stopped so already. Yeah. Like like okay, listen, yeah. you can't even get through downtown. Y'all, we are out here in the hood where it is good. I, I cannot believe this right now. But hey, happy new year, honey. Um, I'm not really tripping. I didn't really like, um, I just want to have a good time with the people that love me and celebrate me and want to be around me and, you know, good energy. So hopefully this goes good. Loving my outfit. So cute. I want this car now, though. I don't know. It's it was cute. I like it. The BMW. It's the new BMW. But see, I be in stuff like this all the time, so it doesn't really excite me. And that's why I want a truck. A big old truck. Nice truck. Big girl truck. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy look kind of fun. Like, I can only see his eyes, and he got a big old gun in his hand. Mm. I don't know why I like that gangster shit. It just turns me on. It turns me on. Hit me from the back while you hold your gun. Hit me from the back while you hold your gun. I'm joking. I'm really not joking, though. Hit me from the back with the mask on while you hold your gun. You know what I mean? Like, a guy could have a mask on, and then he got his gun in his hand, and then he giving you back shots, and not using no hands. He just giving you back shots while he hold his gun. I know that's kind of crazy, but did I really just say that out loud? Did anybody hear me? Except for y'all. <laughs> but girl, I'm gonna talk to you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little double yeah, up. That's crazy. Know. He calling me right now. See, look, y'all. Y'all need to be careful. Look at this shit. Oh, my Ooh, he dead. Yeah, Somebody's dead. Go to radio, oh, Everybody trying to go on radio. Somebody's, Somebody's dead. Let me see if I can call the owner again and tell them. They, they, they sold out, bro. You hear me? You heard me? Damn, y'all just missed it. Man's leg is missing. Man's leg on. Come here. No, look. Look. 
Come here. Right here. Look. They done took this man's leg off. His leg is off, ball. We got this. We got this. We got this. checking in with you so happy new year's day happy new year day or happy new year happy new year there we go happy new year it's because everybody has their own way of saying it some people say happy new years some people say happy new year day so i don't know i think it's happy new year not happy new years because it's a new year not a new years right i don't know but if you made it to 2024 please say hallelujah Thank you, Jesus, because a lot of people did not make it to 2024, and a lot of fuckery was going on yesterday. Like, people were running lights. Literally, it's like the world, a, a spell was cast on, down, on Dallas, Texas. Like, people were running lights. Literally, like, girls were waving at us, because I guess we were in a nice car, but girls were waving at us, and then literally just running through the light. And it, um, it made us run one of the lights because we thought the light was green because they ran it and they were like in the middle of the road, almost got hit. Like people were just running stop signs. It's like the whole Dallas, Texas was on drugs last night. And then the guy who lost his leg, girl, like that was crazy. I cannot believe I witnessed that. I It doesn't traumatize me because I've seen a lot of gory stuff, but... I know that's God telling me something because at Punk Society, a guy got shot in the leg right in front of me. Me and my my friend's brother pulled him to the side. Um, I went over there and helped him immediately because my first boyfriend died from getting shot in the leg and I'm just not scary like that. And if I see somebody like that's in, I don't know, that's just me. I would have went and helped the guy with the leg too if I wasn't with the people I was with. I would have did what I could have did. I would have just held his hand and just let him squeeze my shit till it broke. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Cause uh, it just was crazy, but. And then when he said, is this real? Like. That's crazy. I told him, no, it's not real. Girl, I was like, no, it's not real. It's not real. Like. His whole leg was off. Can you imagine a car coming to hit you? The most you think is gonna happen is you get hit by the car. The last thing you think is gonna happen is your whole leg just gets yanked off. Like he hit so hard that his whole leg came off. I just wanna say a quick prayer for him because that is intense. I just wanna Lord Jesus, be there for him right now in this moment, this tragic moment, this horrible accident. Cover him with your strength. And however you do it, let him get through this year because that is going to be a huge downer on his soul. Protect him, give him strength, encourage him and shine him with your amazing love. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. I can't believe I seen that, I can't believe, not me, I can't believe he had to go through that. Like, can you imagine that? I, he had nothing to do with it, he was just an innocent bystander just there and got his leg knocked off. I honestly wanted to cry for him, like, I still be feeling like I'm finna cry for him. Like every time I think about it, I just wanna cry for him. 
That's fucking sucks. I don't even know, dude, but I hope he's okay. I mean, that's a stupid thing to say. I don't even know, dude, but I hope he's able to get through this because he's not okay. It's not okay, and I know he's not okay. He's lived all these years with two feet, two legs, and tonight, 2024, the night of the ball dropping, his leg gets taken off. I know he's not okay, but I hope he's able to get through this. If he has kids, I hope they love their dad no differently and make him feel like it's okay. Well, make him okay. Not make him feel like it's okay. Make him okay. Make him feel better. That was insane last night. I, did, I wasn't even going to go out. I was going to, I told y'all I wasn't going to go out. I was going to stay home and just stay on the balcony and watch the ball drop from my balcony downtown. But I, you know, haven't done nothing for Christmas or Thanksgiving really. I didn't really, um, I mean, I, I did things, but I didn't go out, you know? So I was like, you know, I don't really want to be home by myself. So I decided to tag along and go out. And we didn't go out really like that. We went with a couple artists. And then, hmm, after that, we left. After that happened, we were in the parking lot waiting to go in, and we left right after that. Like, no, nah, we good. We went to, what was it, um, IHOP? We went to IHOP and ate, and then we home. So, no. <sighs> but I hope y'all are okay. I hope y'all are okay. I hope everyone made it home safe. They're popping fireworks out here. Let's see if we could see them. For the movers to get here because I was girls moving stuff inside and I was like what are you doing this for when people are about to come do it so just just eat and then we'll meet them there and let everyone in and let them do the moving in part and um I'm gonna get a bottle of Patron because I want to turn up and I want to get my hair redone I don't like my hair anymore I just don't be like because I guess the bangs are too short it's just I don't know girl I'm not feeling it right now but I don't really care. I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat. I need to get my tags updated because we're eat. We are in far north Dallas now, where the popo be tripping. So I need to get my tags updated now because we're not downtown where the popo don't care. Popo don't care about the people downtown. <sighs> Bless the Lord and these thy gifts which we are about to receive through your bounty from Christ our Lord in Jesus' holy name. We pray. Amen. All right. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit of a fat ass. I got a spicy chicken deluxe sandwich, a large waffle fry, and a side of nuggets. I'm hungry. But I've really been eating like good lately. I really haven't been eating much because I've been moving. I know my dogs hate me because they haven't been able to go out like that. But they really haven't been socializing just like I haven't been. So I know when they see anybody, they're gonna get really excited. So I'm gonna take them to a dog park. Today or tomorrow, more than likely tomorrow. And the consistency with my 
vlogs is back. I wasn't as consistent just this past week because I'm moving and even though that's the time to me be making content, I am making content, but sitting down and putting it together, child, I be having too much going on in my mind, like, to focus. I just love how Chick-fil-A don't play. Like, Chick-fil-A gonna get these orders out. And I got some nuggets. Oh no, did I get ketchup on it? Okay. I got honey mustard. I like me some honey mustard. Sweet and sour sauce is my second. Barbecue sauce, I've never been a fan of barbecue sauce. Honey mustard is for sure my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I'm also focusing on my mental health this year. If I feel like you stress me out, or if I have to question you, you gotta go. I'm done dealing with people who are not good for me. I'm talking about really honestly, I'm talking about friends. I don't really have an issue with men, I'm not gonna lie. Like, of course, sometimes we do or don't get each other. You know, we do or don't stay consistent. Sometimes be acting where that cop keeps making rounds. Like, it's like that cop just keeps on. I guess this is a street right here. We have a man. We either get each other, we don't. We have sex and either like each other after, you know, want to act weird with each other, whatever. Friends is really what I'm talking about. Because I'm not going to just sit there and press a guy who's not my husband or my boyfriend. Like, I will. Like, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I will. Like, if we done had sex and I really like you, I'll press you for a while. But once I figure out, like, okay, you not reciprocating my energy, you're playing with me, I'm going to block you and just go on by my way. Because we had sexual relations, you had to put in some effort. Because I'm not easy like that. And so if you really just put in this effort for no reason, to start acting weird, I'm good. We're grown. You know, damn well, after you have sex with somebody, you should be acting nicer, not acting weirder. So I'll cut you off quick, fast, in a hurry. I don't need to hear your explanation. But they always come back. Okay, so this is the police street. And he just keeps busting U-turns, going back this way. Mm, 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 mm. I have been craving you KFC. Like that big old box of chicken, I just want one. This is really good. But, hmm. Child, life is a trip. <laughs> and then with friends, like, cause you know, friends are more personal. Yeah, your guy is personal, but sometimes you tell your friends things that you won't tell your guy. 
you know, to get advice or whatever. So, your friends are a huge influence. So, you need to make sure you have healthy friends. Because I had made friends with this one white girl. She was really cool. She seemed cool at first. But she started blowing my phone up 4 o'clock in the morning because her boyfriend and her would get into fights. And... It got to the point where I had to check her. I mean, I could have went about it, said it differently. But I'm 29 years old now. I do not want girls calling my phone late at night because their boyfriend and them are fighting when I know you're going to go right back. So what are you calling me for? Because any advice I give you, you're not going to listen to it. So Hi, y'all. So we got the babies in the car. There's Mila, Mara. We got the puppies right here. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.